All right, what's going on, you guys? Uh, Paul here with Paul's Performance, and today I just wanted to show off a little system I just installed. I put a remote starter on my TDI swapped Toyota. It's something I wanted to do, especially with it being a TDI. On the cold mornings, I wanted to be able to help it warm up just a smidge, if any. It does not create any heat whatsoever, and it takes forever for me to get heat when I'm driving it, so I'm hoping this remote starter is gonna help out too. Also, I thought it was pretty cool to have a remote starter on my phone, but I'm going to go through and show you everything I had to do to make it happen. It is possible to do on a TDI swap Toyota because I've made it happen. So here's all the stuff that I had to get. This is a CompuStar system here. I'm going to start with the computer. This is the CMX computer. This is the brain of the operation. I had to get a high voltage harness, which is just bigger gauge wire for this box. It does not come with it. This comes with the low voltage harness. You'll have to get this separate if you have an older vehicle. Newer vehicles use a lot less voltage for the starting system. The drone this is for using your phone to remote start this is optional but that's exactly what i wanted to use was my phone i didn't want to have to use the remotes so i got the drone system this right here is the op500 this is the programmer if you're doing it yourself you have to have this to be able to program all of your inputs outputs and settings into your box like for this one i have a glow plug timer pretty much everything has to be programmed through this or you have to take it to a dealer so this is required which this was about 60 bucks on amazon here is the remotes that i got these are just your hard remotes um, i use my phone for it with the uh, drone system but i did also get these remotes too to go along with it as a backup system these are 3,000 foot and then this right here is required for manual transmission this is the dos sensor and it has an accelerometer in it and it can actually tell if the vehicle moves so like if you somehow left it in gear and tried to remote start it and the vehicle jerked forward because it was in gear this would actually shut down the remote starter so this is for safety but this is required for a manual transmission now i'm going to show you the app this is the drone app so if you get the drone system you'll get this app and as you can see it'll tell you the battery voltage the engine's off it's locked even though i don't have power locks I, I don't have none of that but it has that if you have power locks it'll show you all that 63 degrees inside that's the temperature inside that's the main thing i wanted along with just having it on my phone but i also wanted to know what the temperature was in the cab so when i remote started i can say oh look it's warm now it's time to go outside i can go over here and here's my start stop uh, this usually has unlock and lock all that stuff but I took that off because I don't have none of that all I have is the start stop so we're gonna hold that for three seconds and now it should remote start the truck it's gonna go through a seven second glow plug timer and it's on a 25 25 minute run time as you can see you can set it to 15 25 or 45 minutes and that's how long it'll run and then it'll automatically shut off the app will also tell you that it's running successfully and you can also look and see it's charging the voltage is up so i'm going to actually use the app to turn it back off and there you go with a manual transmission though you cannot just remote start it at any time when you leave the vehicle you actually have to set it into a reservation mode and there's a bunch of different ways you can do that, which can be programmed with this on how you set reservation mode. But if you don't set it in reservation mode when you leave the vehicle, it will not remote start. That's just for manual transmission. It's, it's a safety feature. For mine, I have it set up to where I come to a stop, I have to pull the park brake, let off of the brake pedal while the truck's still running. And then the computer will recognize that I'm trying to set into reservation mode. And you know, if I do that, obviously it's not in gear because it's still running. And if I let go, it would just you know send it into whoever's in front of me. After I do those two, I turn the key to the off position and pull the key off. And to know that you're successful, the truck will stay running. Then you'll get out of the truck and the final step is for it to see that the door is shut. In my driver door, I have a sensor. And when I shut my driver door, the truck will stay running for a couple more seconds and then shut off and then it's successfully in reservation mode so that the, then i can remote start it so i'm going to show you guys that procedure right quick so let's go inside i just pulled up to my parking spot and i'm about to get out of my vehicle so i have to set it in reservation mode and like i said there's many different uh ways you can do it that's all on the programmer and the directions it'll tell you the different methods for mine when i come to a stop and i'm ready to get out i have to put the vehicle in neutral pull my park brake out, let off of the brake pedal, and then I'm gonna pull my key out. 
And see, now that my key's out and the truck is still running, that tells me that the computer is now setting reservation mode. But now I have to complete reservation mode. And all I have that set to is the last door to shut, which is my driver door. So I'm gonna get out, say I lock my door, and I'm gonna shut it. So now that my door is shut, it should stay running for probably about 10 seconds or so after, and then it should shut itself off. So we're gonna give it some time to shut off. And as you can see, it shut off on its own. So now it is in reservation mode and is, it has the ability to remote start. So now next morning comes out, I'm ready to start it up. I pull up my app in my house and like I said, as you can see, it sends Toyota ignition has been turned off. It tells you on the drone app, it tells you everything that happens um, straight to your phone. But uh, basically the next morning I come out and I can remote start it. If you don't do the reservation mode on these manuals, it will not remote start. So that's required for manual transmissions. Uh, if you have an automatic, you can get around that. That's how I got remote start on here. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, but it is possible on a TDI swap. So see you guys next time.